Developing now, a 10 of 59 year old woman is in the hospital after Harris County Sheriff deputies say she was stabbed by two preteens. So if these kids have the ability to do that, do we need to start watching the kids around here? Neighbors saying they never expected this type of violence from the children. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Barajas. The victim remains in critical condition at this hour, and a 12-year-old has been charged in the attack. This happened in Northwest Harris County this afternoon around 4.30 at a home along April Valley Court just south of Cyprus. And that's where we find KPRC2's Gage Golding tonight. Gage investigators say security video is playing a big part in this investigation. Yeah, Bill, it's showing these two kids, not one, but two, neither of which are teenagers. The youngest, just seven years old, the oldest, 12 years old. And that 12 year old boy, he is facing charges of aggravated assault for allegedly stabbing the woman that owns this home right inside her own garage. And why they did this, Bill? All over an argument. At first glance, it's just two kids riding their bikes down April Valley Court Saturday afternoon. What the camera doesn't show you is the woman who lives here, the victim in this situation. Police saying she was arguing with the two boys, just seven and 12 oh, years these old. Are sons. These are two son boys. Oh, shit. Look at that brown arm. Look at that 4C hair. These are sons, man. Oh, yeah. White woman probably was like, um, can you not ride in my yard or some shit? A request. She probably made a request of them. What, what do you guys think? How does a black woman? Ah, it's probably a white woman. I, th I think it was a white woman. I think it was a white woman. I don't think it was a black woman. And we'll see. We'll see, man. From what I've gathered, it was just a verbal altercation. But fast forward just 10 minutes. The kids come back, this time with... Yeah, they're definitely black. They came back. They couldn't let her go. They couldn't let her ride. <laughs> <laughs> They had to come back and shit to the scene and, 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 and spark it back up. They had to spin the block. But fast forward just 10 minutes. The kids come back, this time with gloves on and with a weapon. Watch as they run up the driveway to the woman standing in the garage. We're stopping the video here because the 12-year-old <laughs> boy stabs the woman. Female ap appear to have uh, several stab wounds to her abdominal area. Deputies called out here about 10 minutes later, not by the victim, but by her brother. He just came at the right time. Uh, they opened the door and saw that she was stabbed. Neighbors sharing this isn't the first time the sheriff's office has been out here. Actually, it's quite a regular occurrence. Deputies saying the woman has a mental illness. Lately, it's been getting worse. She was like... So she has a mental illness, so it's her fault that she deserved to get stabbed. More Normally, when you have mental illness, you get to do whatever the fuck you want, but some little black kids stab you, then your mental illness is not doesn't give you the occurrence deputy saying the woman has a mental illness lately it's been getting worse she was like telling me that she was going to cut me um if i didn't back off maddie monself says neighbors on the block know about the woman's situation and they know how to keep things cordial but she also thinks the woman's mental illness played a factor in whatever happened here saturday afternoon i think these kids just didn't know any better so they retaliated they didn't know any better they're never told you're not supposed to stab people. You're not supposed to leave the scene, go to home, get a knife, and then well, go Well, she back probably said that. She probably said that same thing to them kids. And they're like, oh, bitch, you want to be stabbed? Oh, I'll be right back. Yeah, you, you're not supposed to come back. <sighs> Man. Wow. Um, whew. <laughs> Son, kids, man, um, be different, man. We we different, man. Um, we is different. Joining us at nine, I'm Daniel Wilkerson. Thanks for staying up with us. We want to start with that breaking news we mentioned. A game of basketball leads to gunfire. Fox 13 is learning that three people were shot tonight at Westwood Park. This was near Ford Road near Deerskin Drive. Fox 13's Lakia Scott joins us live from that area. Lakia, one victim was a teenager. Good evening to you. Good evening, Daniel. That is correct. We are learning about that teen that 
that teen's condition has been upgraded from critical to non-critical condition. However, those two adults, they are still in critical condition, according to MPD. Take a look behind me. You can see that the scene is still fairly active. There are at least five or six police cars that are still here on scene investigating here. Now, this happened at OL Cash Park. That's what's if you look, it's too dark to see down there, but there's a park down there and it's called OL Cash Park. And it's in what people here refer to as the Indian Hill community in Westwood. Now, according to Memphis police, two groups were playing basketball at the park when a confrontation arose. Now, that disagreement led to gunfire and three people being shot. A police got here to Ford Road and Deerskin Drive close to 530. MPD tells us there could have been others involved. I spoke with a mother and her nine-year-old little girl. The girl told me she was at the park when this all happened. What did you hear? Gunshots. How many gunshots did you hear? About like 20. Oh, wow. So you were down here at the basketball court? Yes. Okay. Do you know um, what happened? What, what led up to it? I don't know. They were just playing. They were just playing. And I guess they got mad. They just started shooting at each other. Did you see that? I yes, saw baby, it. Mammy. I saw it. I didn't see why, but I saw when they started shooting at each other. <laughs> like really loud. It's that baby <laughs> mammy <laughs> kit with the shower cap, <laughs> the inability to enunciate. Basketball game leads to gunfire. Do these end any other way? These basketball tournaments? Mm, mm, mm. This ain't even a tournament. This is just pick up hoops. Ugh. Now, you just heard that little girl say she was at that park down that street behind us when that shooting happened and police right now they say they located several rounds on the grounds at that park where that shooting happened earlier today the mpd they're still working to find out if the person they have detained is a suspect in this case or if he's just a witness in this situation they're asking anyone who has any information who saw something, who can tell them what happened here, to call them at 901-528-CASH. They say that some of the suspects could have gotten away from the scene. Daniel. A lot of people continue to ask when. <sighs> All of the suspects got away from the scene. Cut on camera, a Roseland resident sees this group of kids breaking her security cameras. It's happened a handful of times in just a matter of weeks. She worries these property crimes could escalate to something more serious. And a story you'll see on... <laughs> Yo, man, black kids, these kids look like they're 12, too. Yeah. These kids look hella young. Yeah, but a teenage, an older kid said, hey, go smash the cameras on that house right there. So they go smash it. They can hit the house within the next few days. Boom. You know, you know, I, there was a pretty horrendous story in the news today. If you get a time to like look look it up in Chicago, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's horrendous. I don't Put know. it in the back chat, man. All right. Salute the salute the Verdant Glider, man. Says salute the Automation Best Host panel and chat on YouTube. Salute to you, man. Mr. Clockwork says, these are never funny. They're meant to demean us, to emasculate us, and to flex on us. They're showing us they own us. Listen to Fish. He's on point. <clears throat> and this is just the, the beginning. It's going to get so obscene. Cut on camera, a Roseland resident sees this group of kids breaking her security cameras. It's happened a handful of times in just a matter of weeks. She worries these property crimes could escalate to something more serious. In a story you'll see only on Two Now, she spoke to our Charlie DeMar. From posting on social media to plastering the culprits' faces on her backyard for the entire neighborhood to see, the Roseland woman I spoke to says she simply wants her security cameras left alone over and over again. 
the surveillance cameras and motion lights in this the Roseland other boy County looks like he's like eight or nine by pieces of concrete or simply ripped off this was the light it's happened four times just this month at the same home how frustrating is this it's very frustrating because it's expensive for one and for two why are you doing it what what are your intentions the homeowner jackie doesn't want to be identified but says she believes the same group of kids is responsible we've blurred their faces because they haven't been charged and appear to be minors. I put the pictures up to let them know that we know who they are. Jackie took screenshots from her surveillance cameras and displayed the pictures of the camera smashers in the alley, hoping someone would identify them. Just as quickly as they went up, the crew ripped those pictures down. Are you worried that this could ramp up into something more serious? Absolutely. Do you have intentions on harming somebody? Do you have intentions on stealing? Are you trying to go in someone's garage? Instead of cameras, Jackie now has signs clearly stating that she's armed and a colorful message. See, she doesn't understand, Wicked. You know what I mean? That this is like saying, there's a gun in here. <laughs> there's a gun in this house for you to come take if you want. This is not, this doesn't have the effect that you think it does. Plus, some fucked up DA can say it's a, some form of premeditation or just like those dog bite signs, you know, uh, dog bites. Yeah, then you know you have a vicious dog. So when it bites somebody, you're open to extra litigation. No, I don't think that. I just think that this tells sons, oh, there's a gun inside there. All we got to do is break in and look for it. And we got ourselves a free gun. That's what I think it says. Has signs clearly stating that she's armed and a colorful message we can't show on TV, urging those responsible to stay off her property. I know somebody knows them, so hopefully we can find them. And Jackie, who you just heard from, says she's even gone around to neighboring schools too. to see if any of the administrators recognize the people in that video. So far, no arrests have been made. Reporting from Chicago Police Headquarters, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. I put it in the back, I get a quick one.